10, a staple of election season. Campaign signs, you see them everywhere, wherever you may be. Absolutely, but in Beaver Dam, one street in particular is turning heads with its big sign wars. NBC 15's Michelle Beck shows us a slice of American life. You get lots of stairs. Some are supportive, some are not, but you know, you have your right either way, right? <laughs> you can tell a lot about a person by their front yard. As a teacher, we can't do enough to support our public education. Even the way they vote is obvious, at least on Park Avenue in Beaver Dam. Oh, no, there's no shame. No doubt, Angie Kirst votes blue. My neighbor feels no shame, I'm sure, too. We're in the, we're in the United States. We should be able to you know, vote for whom we want to vote for. She says it was 08 during Obama's first presidential run when she put out the street's first prominent placard. At the time, her next door neighbor was a Republican. And then he wanted a bigger sign, so he went with the bigger sign. So it kind of started that way. The fire still burns this midterm year as Wisconsin's major races compete neck and neck. GOP sign holders on this block were not home or declined to speak with us, but one street over. I put them signs out for one reason. Dick and Anita Namer boast their picks for office. I'm a Republican. That's number one. And if they don't like it, they know what they can do. I've always felt that the democratic process is a choice. You should, you know, respect the other person's right to their choice and voicing that choice and I feel they should do the same to us. In the past, the namers say their signs have been removed, but the ugly makes its way across party lines. In the last presidential election, Kirst saw it firsthand. Okay, you're looking at the guy coming through and slicing through our sign. To slice through something on your property is, you know, disturbing. This is what it looked like afterwards. People are afraid, unfortunately, and so I don't think you have the discussions that you could have, and I think there is definitely more divisiveness. While the hedge can seem high, neighbors on both sides say they can still find common ground. We have a snowblower, and so if there's a big snowfall, he will go and blow up and down the whole block. Um, yeah. It doesn't matter what your opinions are politically. Yeah. In times of need, neighbors help neighbors. If we all were exactly alike, it'd be an awful boring world. When it's time to vote, neighbors make their voices heard. In Beaver Dam, Michelle Beck, NBC 15 News.